guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra at Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making my absolute favorite cake in the whole wide world, red velvet. So we're gonna be making a red velvet mug cake with cream cheese frosting. So let's go over what you'll be needing. Okay, so this is what we'll need for our mug cake. We're gonna start off with the cocoa powder. We're gonna use two teaspoons of that, one tablespoon of butter, melted butter. I've already melted it just to get a little head start, if you can see that in there. And of course, you'll need your mug. Uh, three tablespoons of almond flour. You'll need your vanilla extract or vanilla flavor. A little baking powder. We're gonna do a half teaspoon of that. Our red food coloring to give it its color. One tablespoon of sour cream. Our sweetener, I'm just using a monk fruit blend. This is granular, and we are using one and a half tablespoons there, and then our little egg. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our wet ingredients. So we already have our butter in there that is melted. Now let's add our little tablespoon of sour cream, our little vanilla. So we're just gonna add a little Oopsie. Okay, so if you're using a vanilla extract, then you're gonna wanna use just a tiny bit, like a half teaspoon. If you're using flavor, then you can add a little more. You're gonna mix that together. So, let's crack our little egg. So all of the wet ingredients going together, and then we're going to mix in our dry. Okay, so all our wet ingredients, let's go ahead and mix. Make sure everything is well incorporated. Okay, so we're just going to get our half teaspoon of baking powder. Now let's get our chocolate, our cocoa powder. We're gonna do two teaspoons. There's one. And two. Our sweetener. Mix that together. I'm gonna form our little gel. I mean, our little mixture. Our batter. This is our cake batter, guys. Mm -mm -mm. It smells so good. Okay, so we have our red food coloring. We're just gonna put about an eighth. That's more like a quarter teaspoon. Let's see if that's going to give it the red color we want. Mm -hmm. So let me show you the batter because it, you need to make sure it's well incorporated um, so you don't have clumps, okay? If you have clumps, you need to mix a little, just a little bit more. But this is what it's gonna look like before we put it in the microwave. Okay, so now we're putting it into the microwave for one minute. Let's see how our little mug cake turned out. Okay. Here's our mug cake. Okay, so our little mug cake is all done. We're gonna set it aside so that it can cool while we make our frosting. If you put your frosting on right away, it's gonna just like melt, <laughs> melt right off. So you don't want that. That's gonna cool and um, let's get this little mixture going. Okay, so we have one tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of cream cheese, and then we have our tablespoon of powdered sweetener, okay? Um, you need it to be powdered so that it's not grainy. If you don't have a, if you don't have a little um, grinder, then you can just blitz it in your, uh, what do you call it, blender, okay? But it has to be powdered or it will be like grainy. Now we're gonna do a little half teaspoon of heavy cream, okay? Okay. And Get every last bit out. You know about that savage life. And now let's just get all this. 
Okay, so once everything's mixed in, then you get a little fork and you're gonna whip it just to get a little bit of air into it so it's more fluffy. Um, I'm going to do this for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Oh my God, my arm's burning. It feels like an arm workout. Now you can do it with a hand mixer, but I mean, it's just such a small amount that I don't know if you guys, you know, if you want to use a hand mixer. Okay, so I felt like mine needed a little bit more sweetener. So I just added an extra teaspoon. Um, basically, this is your cake. You're going to eat it. So you want to taste it and make sure that it's, you know, to your liking. So if you have a major sweet tooth, you might even add a little bit more than me. Okay. And we're doing a little baby pinch of salt because the salt always brings out the sweetness. Okay, so now we're gonna be fancy wants and we're going to cut it in half and put some, ooh, we got cake. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to add some of our cream cheese frosting. Rem remember, I've let this cool already, so. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna layer this baby. Okay, now let's add some on top. Hold on, that little fork's getting in our way. Okay. I mean, you can do whatever you want with this, obviously, but I'm just, um, I don't know, what do you think? Do you love it? Let me know, let me know. And now for my favorite part, which is the taste test. So I obviously layered this little baby. I had a little um, extra cake, so I did the crumbs on top just for decoration. But now we are about to cut in and see if this tastes like some red velvet pastel. Cheers! I'm so excited. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm not even joking right now. Mm. This is so good. This is like red, red velvet for real. This is where it's at right here. All my red... All my red cake velvet lovers, not all my red velvet lovers, you guys have to try this. You're gonna love it. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me and until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.